Been working out on the roof of the head house a little bit and it I realized that I hadn't filmed anything of what I was doing on it yet. And what I've decided to do is for the top of it, I'm going to do these planks, how it looks right here and how I've been doing. And I've just been cutting them in random lengths and just gluing them on to whatever looks looks good. So I'm going to continue with that and bring you guys along with it, or bring everyone along with it. So we'll get going. And the reason I've just cut them at random lengths is so that it doesn't look like it's uniform. It looks like it's pieces have been torn out, put back in. And I went with the wood because I wanted something different than just the normal tin roof, sheet metal roof that mines normally use. I know this may not be too prototypical, but I think it looks a little better than just having the normal tin corrugated roof. So for these pieces that are really hanging over, I'll come back through and trim them up so that they're a little closer but I also wanted to have some variation at the bottom as well that they just essentially slapped the wood on and call it good.
that's that, for now at least, on this front half. Not the front half, the back half. I'm going to do the rest off camera. So once we get that done, we'll be back in just a bit. All right, I'm at the point that I'm getting ready to put the LEDs into or onto the places that I want to put them. You can see them here and there's one here and I've got the other one kind of pre-bent to where I want it. I was trying a couple of different methods. I tried using some super glue and it just wasn't working the way I had wanted it. I wanted something relatively quick that I could just go put it on there fast and be done with it essentially. And unfortunately that didn't work. I tried some wood glue and it even kind of letting it tack up. It wasn't working too well either. So I am going to try using some hot glue and we'll see if how this works. I'm assuming it's going to work fine because I've done something similar like this in the past, but we'll see.
One other thing that I thought of while getting prepped with this is it'd be kind of worth it to put a light on the door. I know that there's a blob at the bottom of this post here, but I will hide that with a barrel or two or something machinery related to help hide that. So if I had to do it over, I would have waited on the walls, but I didn't know if I was going to use, I didn't know what I was going to do light-wise yet with it, so. And it doesn't hurt if I get some on some of the wood over here. 
the cross bracing because this is the color I used to stain it. And I'll just add that much more to it. I've put in some LEDs here into the mine, the head house, and I added this one to the outs. Come on, focus. Maybe you'll focus. There we go. I did add this one to the outside. Made it look like it sticks out for. Just something a little different. Since, and we'll just turn them on for now or show you. I'm not positive which one that is. That one there. Come on. And that one back there. So what I'm going to do is get all of the wires put together and most likely we'll just feed them here to the middle where everything seems to seems to look like it'll reach for the most part. And then we'll feed the longer wire get Probably I'll split this up into th two resistors and then get the feed wire that comes up through the mine. So, or I should say that it'll feed down all the way to the bottom of the mine. So that's what has been working on. I did add a little bit more just to the bottom of the, I don't know if, which way is going to be easiest to see. Down here I just had some extra paint that I used when I was painting the wires and that. So we will, I'm going to be getting that done, get these joined together, get a couple of, like I said, get a couple of resistors on it to just keep it safe. And we'll be back in just a bit.